Max machines are connected to telephone lines. Printed matters can be sent through fax machine. Printed uh, matter can be sent like letters can be sent through fax machine. So you have to underline fax, tele uh, telephone and fax. A fax machine takes a picture of a printed page and sends it to another fax machine anywhere in the world by means of electric signals. So a fax machine takes a picture of printed page and sends it to another fax machine anywhere in the world in seconds. In addition to regular telephones which are used to at home and offices, there are cellular or mobile phones which is now very common. So, in addition, regular phones, you know, maybe in your, now you have seen only mobiles, maybe some houses, even now there will be land phones, which we have to use uh, there, there itself, where it is kept, there we have to go and dial the number and just speak. That is land phone, it is kept in one place. Other than now it's very common that is cellular phone or mobiles. These, these can be carried around anywhere. We can put in pockets, we can keep in purse or in a bag, anywhere we can. Wherever we go, we can take it. That is mobile phones. And we can receive calls. Anywhere where we are uh, standing, we will get where we are remaining, we will get calls and messages from others. So, uh, once again, I repeat the telephone and fax. The fastest method of voice communication is telephone. And there are telephone exchanges all over the country, which connect in seconds and Fax machine, you know, fax machine are connected to telephone lines. And use, uh, fax machine is used to uh, take the printed matters. Pin printed matters can be sent through fax machine. And also picture can be taken and sent it to another fax machine. Besides, other than uh, phones, telephones nowadays, Mobiles, mobile phone or cellular phones are very common. It's the advantages of the cellular phone otherwise mobile phone is that it can be taken anywhere where we are going. It can be kept in pockets or in purse. And it is possible to send instant text messages, photos or videos through these mobiles from one phone to Another. Now you are experiencing that. We are sending notes through phone, mobile phones. We are sending some, you are, um, arts festival, you took videos and send it to me, to our, another te other teachers. So it can be done in seconds. And uh, video can be sent through phone or uh, some printed matters can be sent through phone. So it is very useful. And common nowadays the uh, telephone and mostly the cellular phone or mobile phones. So I hope you understood. Any doubt? Have you understood? No reply from anyone. Are you looking at the textbook? Are you underlining? So now you know. Which is the fastest method of voice communication, that is telephone. And uh, what is the use of fax machine? And uh, which are the common telephones now? Other than land phone, there are cellular phones and uh, mobile phones. And what is the advantages of mobile phones? It can be carried anywhere we go. And we can send message or videos from where we are remaining. No need of, uh, suppose it is land phone. When we hear the uh, phone bell, we have to run and rush to the room. It is, uh, uh, sometimes it is not possible. We miss the call. The mobile phones are not like that. It is always with us and we can receive messages. We can send messages. We can receive videos. 
you can send. So the advantages are many. So that is all about telephone and fax machine. So dear students, I hope you understood about postal system and telephone and fax. What do you have to do? I'll give you small homework. There is the postal index number. A group of numbers at the end of an address to help postman. Locate the exact area. That definition is given there. And courier. Someone who delivers documents and parcels. Then telephone exchange. Place from where all the telephones of an area are controlled. So three definitions are there. Uh, last. Uh, part, uh, last. Uh, that in that uh, column. So that three definitions you have to write and learn. And also you have to read the test book at least five times. And the underlined parts have to be uh, by hearted. And the next class we will continue with the mass media and computers. And when I take the Zoom class. Now we are getting this class through online. And uh, the evening. As is, uh, evening we will give. We will have Zoom class and in that Zoom class I will explain it once again and make you understand. If any doubt, if you have any doubt, you have to ask me at that time. Okay. All clear? So, all the best and we will meet you in the next class. Thank you.